Hi guys, welcome to DevOps tutorial and this is the sixth video lecture for the Kubernetes series and today we are going to learn create a simple pod using YML file and for that one we have to learn what are the syntax we are using in that YML file okay so for that one we have the command to check what are the syntax we have required in that YML file so kubectl explain this is the command and pods okay so here we can get the description like kind is a pod object version v1 we have to use and pod is a collection of container that can run on a host okay we can create a multiple containers on the single pod or we can use a single containers then we have to define the api version kind is the object okay metadata means uh, we have to provide the details of the pod like is a metadata and specification specs means we have to define the containers here okay so let's clear this and clear the terminal and create a one yml file so vi we can uh, name of this file is test.yml okay now we have already checked first we have to provide the api version here v is capital okay api version is v1 next we have to provide the kind okay then we have to provide the metadata okay then we have to provide the specs so this is the fourth things we have to define in our yml file so kind is like what kind of object is pod okay and in the metadata we have to define the name and label of the pod so here we can provide the name the name of the pod is we can say this is test nginx okay and we have to provide the label So labels we have to provide like name and this is nginx demo okay now in the spec section we have to provide the containers so we have to provide the container here okay and containers is required the object so we have to provide the object like this one image the name of containers okay so we are using the nginx image here and name we can provide here okay okay so this is our simple uh, yml file that we are using to create the simple pod so we have defined the api version v1 kind is pod metadata content name and label okay so this is the label is a uh, types of array so we are defining in this kind and in the specification we have required to provide the container information so we have defined these things here okay so containers is required the object so we can define the object like this okay so if you let's save these things okay. now i want to check this my test.yml file is correct or not so for that one we have to command is kubectl create hyphen f then test.yml file hyphen hyphen dry run okay so once we execute this command it will check the yml file is correct or not and it will run on this client machine okay so okay so this is outdated we have to Execute this command so dry run is execute perfectly there is no mistakes in our yml file okay but there is no pod is created it's just checking that one keep the syntax everything is correct or not in our yml file okay so once we remove these things and once we execute it will create the pod okay so if you let's check it kubectl get pods we can see here there is no resource found okay 
now create the pod using our yml file okay kubectl get sorry kubectl create hyphen f test yml file okay so we can see here the pod testing is created okay using our yml file so let's check kubectl get pods we can see here the testing pod is up and running the edge is 11 second now if you want to see the details of the pods so we can see here kubectl describe pods and name of the pods okay so whatever the things that we have written inside the yml file all things will be come here okay so the name we are providing the testing nginx okay then name space we have not defined here then container nginx image that we are using okay so all this information that we have written in our nginx file will be present is here okay so node and start time which ip address is using okay so all this information we can get it with the help of using describe command okay now if you want to like delete the pod okay so we have the command is kubectl delete pods and the name of the pods kubectl get pods and testing nginx copy this and kubectl delete pods and the name of the pod okay so once we execute these things it will delete the pod okay so pod is deleted kubectl get pods there is no pod is there now if you want to learn more about like more syntax that we have to use in our yml file so for that one we have the command is kubectl explain pod hyphen hyphen recursive so once we execute these things we will know the details of the pod like what syntax we are using and what types of this syntax okay so let's check it here api version is a string type kind is also string type metadata is object that required a multiple parameters and here we are using the label so labels also string type object that required a multiple labels okay then specification is object so in that one we have to define the containers so yeah here is the containers container is a array of object okay so we have to define objects like this one one by one okay that we are using the image syntax that is a string type and if you want to open the ports so this is the ports is also types of object okay so we can check all this field by using kubectl explain ports hyphen hyphen recursive okay so this is the some basics uh, like how to create the ports how to delete the ports okay and in the coming lecture we will learn the replica set and deployment so guys please keep watching my channel and please subscribe thank you bye